Okay, I'm back, Mr. Ballion here, and I'm going to actually unwrap this one. I'm going to texture basically these two legs, and then I'm going to duplicate it back, okay, and just to the back. And in, depending on the shot, we're not going to see the same texture, even though it's somewhat similar, okay? No worries. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to call this A and this one B. All right, so what I said earlier in my previous uh, recording, my previous lesson, that we, we will use the auto map here. Click, and then we'll go to U. You have, you have to be in modeling, guys, not animation. And then you have to go to UV editor and so let's see what pops up. And this is very bizarre because now proportionally I'm not seeing uh, anything here. Like I'm looking at this surface here, face, and it's right there. And then uh, let me just right click and go to shell like before and let's see where that is. Four for wireframe. Okay, so that's the top there. Again, I have to press chef, uh, shell W. And I'm going to move it here, and I'm actually going to scale it down because really, proportionally, this makes no sense to me how this is happening. Sometimes things are off, but that's okay. And I'm going to press 6 again for texture, and I'm going to select this here, this face. I have a feeling it's it's it's. I need to un, uh, detach these pieces. Okay, so I'll do something. So notice that I've selected this face, and proportionally, that's not right. But this may be possibly this surface here. So if I go to face for a second here, yeah, it's there. Okay, so what I'll do right now, I'll highlight these. I'm going to go to polygons, drop down, and somewhere here there's split UVs. So let's see how this is going to work. Split UVs, okay? So now if I click out here and go to shell, boom, and that's there. And this one here looks like to be the bottom. And proportionally, we know that that's not right. So W, and you're not really going to see this, but for now I'm just moving it up here for you. So there you go, the top of the leg and the bottom, okay? So the face, let's see what that is right here, okay? So now I'm going to right-click and go to UV, and we'll get those nice little dots going, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just bring this up like that, and you can see already how nice this is. I'm holding Option or Alt on the window station. Look at this, and I'm going to bring it down over here, and maybe I'll leave it like that, bring this over, and you can see that's not bad. That's looking really nice. So the key is now is to add the faces to the side, okay? So if I go to shell right now, one, two, and I'm just going to move these off the sheet, okay? And this is really an X root and a Y grid, okay? In my other tutorials, you'll see things more detailed, okay? So there you go. So this is the front, and now I'm going to try to do the same thing on the back, okay? So let's see. A um, couple things you guys learned before. We, we had the rotation tool, one, two, three, four, boom, and it's rotated. And what I can do is just go right to the back, move it over, go to shell over here. Okay, get that out. And I think these are the sides. I'll fix those in a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I could actually, you know, and here's what I'll do. Let's right click on it, go to UV, and it's not vertex, guys. UV is like the, basically the, the points in on the texture okay so these two are looking pretty good so now what I want to do this face here I want to find this one here okay I'm gonna continue here and I'm gonna put this surface right next to it over there okay and look at this right now proportionally this makes no sense so what I want to do is try to figure out where this bottom edge is I'm gonna right click and go to edge in my viewport and that's that so you can see now I need to rotate this whole piece okay so again the easiest way is select something and go to right click shell and I will um, rotate counterclockwise twice alright cool I'll move it over here and uh, somewhere like that and what I'll do right now is right click and go to UV take these points and slide them up here see and they're starting to right, actually connect look at that eh? So I'll take this UV point and I'm just going to just do this. Okay, and I'm just going to bring it. And I can even make this linear, really. I could make these guys just be one perfectly, uh, yeah, a, r a nice rectangle, all right? As long as the height and everything connects, we're good. So let's try that technique here, okay? So I'm just going to move this this way and, and I'll bring these two in. So I'm making stuff up here, guys. It's okay. So really, this will work. So right click shell, watch this, boom. And then I'll take the other one and pop it right there, and this one as well. And as long as the two are proportionally the same, we're good to go. So again, UV, take the little dots here, slide them over, 
and one side will be the angle the other one will be perpendicular like that okay so there you go that one this one slides over and we'll do something like that and then what I'll do is I'll right click shell here boom once move that over bring it here and see here's the cool thing right we know that's too wide compared to here right so I'll just go to UV again and and watch what I'll do I'll make that thinner right second I'm gonna bring the bottom so it lines up right there how nice is that so you can see now look how nice that's turning right here see it's turning beautifully all right good enough right there are other things I can do right now I can come in here and go to edge watch this this is really cool if you guys are going to be taking any fashion design in the future polygon so edges somewhere here oh boy that did not look good so we can bypass that altogether I think it's upside down no that's right um, oh I see what happened oops sorry guys I gotta tap out here click out come back to this guy I think it's upside down possibly um, UV so let me see where this edge is. Oh, that's right. Okay, well, I don't know why it didn't so well. Who knows? Okay, so let's get the other piece here. Okay, wow, that's saying that. Okay, so you can see now this one needs to turn, right? So I'll go right click, shell, boom, uh, one time counterclockwise, two times there. All right, so again, if you want to re, um, what do you call it? Uh, if you want to reproportion this or, you know, rescale it reshape it all of the above you need to right click immediately and go to UV it's pretty cool watch this I can take this all the way up there like that and I can bring it right over come down here and take those UVs and bring them in like be like the other one earlier see if I spin around that's looking pretty good that's really awesome actually okay so and I'll take these two right now with a marquee select slide them over okay and what's amazing in this version if you watch any of my um, gaming texturing it's the same thing watch this if I want to align them to the right check this out right here boom like that if I want to align things to the left align so check it out here I can take these two here align left done look at this align to the left again or to the right see see how nice that is All right so we're good I think this looks okay I'm happy with it pretty good I can even bring them closer so you can do this uh, shell pop and slide it right over and then make sure that you know you're off by a bit you can fix it by going to UV here select these two and then just slide it up a bit okay and then you can make them touch if you like okay so that's pretty cool so I'm happy with this and so what I'll do is object boom I'm gonna delete that one say bye bye so watch this command D we duplicated it and then I'll just slide it over here and that's cool how nice that is that works out beautifully all right I'll do the next one too and this is already at eight minutes so not bad all right cool let's try this one wow talk about an abstract shape okay one more time from the beginning you select the object in object mode boom and then go auto right there and then we'll bring it in and let's start picking faces and then we may have to uh, detach faces too so if I go to oh that one's good this one's good and where are you mon ami there's another one here look at that okay so we'll do the same thing as before go to shell and then we'll go to polygons and then split somewhere around here cool then you go to shell again boom W to move and off they go alright so what we should do is quickly find the bottom and the and the top which you'll never see it's probably one of these guys let me see if I'm gonna press 4 here for wireframe and that is the top just like before notice what I'm doing R and scale it down right down doesn't matter W you're never gonna see it you can actually delete it but I'm not asking you to do it for this time okay for my game uh, design we do that we do delete faces we don't see R and see texturing for game furniture somewhat similar right uh, here we go moving the top and the bottom and now I'm gonna come in here press 6 I'm trying to see where this face is here there okay and then I'll do is just go in I'm just trying to distinguish where the bottom edge is right click edge and where are you okay so this needs to be rotated so the way to do it is go to shell rotate once twice three four times okay and that's the bottom on that one so watch this now I can select UV now watch this I can come in here and watch I'm gonna top top align see they're aligned go to this one shift 
and bottom align. See? So, like before, I'm going to uh, take take one half, I mean the edges on one side, and align them, let's say, this way. This one's over, and I'm going to take all of this and then let's move it somewhere over here. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, five um, grid points, okay? So here are my grid squares, one, two, three, four, five. So watch what I'll do. I'll just bring this down here. So that's my measurement in here. Um, it's not super accurate, but I think proportionally it's pretty. it'll work. How's that looking there? Oh, that's looking nice. Okay, so I'll do the other one like that too. So watch this. Sh uh, shell, move this aside. And I'm going to move that aside somewhere there and bring this one in, same as the other one. Okay. So watch this now. I can come in here, right click UV again, select the outside UVs, and align it to the right like that. Doesn't matter. Bring it down all the way here. Okay. So that goes over a touch. This one comes over a touch like that. And I'm eyeballing it. Look how nice that is now. That is fantastic, right? So now for me, simply is to find these faces and put them next to it. Okay. So click highlight there. Good. And then come in here. Go to edge. Okay, where are you? Try that again. Zoom in. Click out. Come back. Oops. And then edge. Bottom edge. So yeah. So this one needs to be rotated counterclockwise twice. Once twice. There you go. Okay. So what I'll do right now is I'll go to UV. Actually, let me just move this down here. I don't want it to overlap with anything else. I'll just go to UV, select this one, shift, bring them over, see, like that, and I can select the two right now, align to the right, select these two, and align to the right as well, boom, shell, watch this, and now you bring it and you place it right next to it like this, okay, and then here, I'm going to go into uh, edge mode, or actually, no, stick to UV, it's much simpler, see? See how nice that is? And now if I actually do something else here, let's see if I can do this shell, slide like that. This one slides over. Okay, right over. Okay, and what I can do, I'm gonna trick the system here. Uh, yeah, okay. Hope this is right. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I can even get this to be right next to it if I really want it. If you want it to super perfect, you can do it like that if you want, okay? And you can do that too. See? That works. Kind of. All right. So now let's get the other one to go next to this one, the other piece. I can take all of these. I can move them in UV mode and shell mode without really um, causing anything. Watch. I can even raise this up to make it... See how nice that is? Wow, that looks good. Okay, so the last one is on the right here, and I'll just go like that, edge. Let's find where this edge is. Okay, so it is in the bottom, good. Right click, shell. Same things over and over, one, two, and bring it over here. There you go. Okay, let's do this super fast. I'm gonna go to UV, select these two, slide them down somewhere here, over, I don't mind like that. This one here, somewhere up here, take this one, line it um, I can even go like that, align left, and then we'll take the two in something like this. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm not holding option. That's what it is. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you hold, bring it over. So you can see in here, that looks pretty cool. Again, shell, I can marry the two together. There's a sewing system, but it's not working well today. So I'm not going to show you. So there it is. These two are looking fantastic. I delete the one in the back. Say see ya. Oops, I have my apologies. Let's go to object and then say delete. Okay, this one here, command D. And you will see the inside one is going to be on the outside face. So really, it does look different. Okay, so I'll just come in here. Okay, so the next one will be um, me modeling um, these. Oh, did I, did I lose a face? I'm missing something here. I must have, yeah, inadvertently. Hang on a second here. 
Fan Z one more time. I'm, ah, there you go. I think I deleted a face uh, inadvertently, of course. Okay, so there it is. I'll just come over here, delete, and now duplicate Command D, spin around in my views, and right about there. Okay, yeah, you can go into your orthographic views, fix that up. And I'll do one more thing quickly here, okay? I'm just going to go in here, and I'm just going to go to face, because in the picture, the inside had a white lamb in it, okay? So, what I'll do right now, I'll assign new material right here, okay? Materials, uh, mental ray X material here, and yeah, I'll just let's, let's just give it white, okay? And then the color reflectivity down. I could have just done matte, actually. Matte finish, whatever. And then we just reduce the reflectivity, glossiness, bye bye, bye bye. Okay. This is going to be just sign new material, and I'll just put a Lambert, sorry, M I A X again. Okay, so let's take a shot and let's see how this looks. Okay, right there. Boom, IPR, and we're done. Let's see how this is looking. Yeah, it's looking good. And then the glass above. Yeah, that's looking nice, see? Really nice. I haven't worked on this part here either, nor here. Uh, actually, I did work there. So this isn't bad. <laughs> okay, I'm just waiting. There's another couple seconds. There it is, 18 seconds. The shot is done. I'm just going to save it here. I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to call this Demo on the desktop. Coffee table. Remember, guys, save your shots, okay? Demo table. Oh, two. Boom. I'm done. All right. Ballion out. Thank you.